Today's lesson is going to focus on an introduction to basic constructions using a compass and a straight edge. So you want to have both of those things out, including your notes packets for this unit. We're going to focus on three constructions, including angle copy, angle bisector, and segment bisector. Make sure you're writing down and following along with every step. Feel free to rewatch it if you need to. Our first one is copying an angle. First, have an angle. Next, go ahead and use your safety compass and create a ray that will act as one of the sides for your angle. Right here, I've created basically one of the sides for my angle. Next, we have to figure out how big this gap is so that we can recreate it down here. The first move, go ahead and line up the brass ring on your safety compass with the vertex, or the corner here, of your angle. Then, make an arc all the way through your angle using any mark along the compass that you would like. I'm going to use this one right here next to a bold line. That way I can keep track of which one I use. Next, go ahead and come down to your new ray and recreate that movement using the same hole. Come down here. Again, same hole, same line for me. Now, to figure out how big this gap is, use your safety compass, line up one of those points where it crisscrossed, come over here and line up the other point that crisscrosses. Looks like I might end up using the white inside part. Yep, right there. The very outside edge. Come down here, recreate the movement. Brass ring on the part that hits, just like I did up there. Again, use whichever hole that you used. For me, it was in here. For you guys, it might have been out here or somewhere. Right, like that. Connect the vertex with the point where our two arcs intersected. And this angle is exactly the same as that. And that's how you copy an angle. Bisect an angle means we want to cut the angle in half. The first thing we are going to do is take our compass and place it on B. We are then going to draw an arc across both arms of the angle. Taking our compass, we are now going to place it on this new arc and draw an interior arc. And without changing the width, we are going to repeat this on the other side. Where these two arcs intersect, mark the point. And from our angle at B, we're going to draw a line to this point of intersection. And here we can see we have constructed the bisector of the given angle ABC. We marked out the two points A and B on the paper. Next, using a compass, first of all, we place the sharp end at one end and now stretch the arm to slightly more than half of the length of AB and we mark two arcs. By not changing the length of the two arms, we mark another pair of arcs and now we join the intersection points of the pairs of arcs together. And this is the perpendicular bisector. All three of these constructions we will use again as we continue to build our knowledge of constructions and use them to apply in triangles and quadrilaterals and many other forms of geometry.